Today I'm going to talk about making dining reservations at Disney World, including how to get some of those harder to get reservations. Did you know that breakfast reservations open up at 6 a.m. 180 days before your trip? That's 6 a.m. Eastern time. So if you live further west, it's even earlier. I'm in Chicago, that's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I have to be awake 180 days before my Disney World vacation. But guess what? It's totally worth it. <sighs> If you do set your alarm and get up really early, guess what? You're going to be way ahead of the game. So many people don't really want to get up at the crack of dawn six months ahead of time to make reservations for restaurants. So if you get up early, you can beat the crowds and get some of those harder to get reservations. Okay, so I know you're thinking, I don't want to get up that early to make these reservations. But think about all the other people who are also saying that. Those are the people who are going to sleep in and they're not going to get those reservations for places like Be Our Guest or Cinderella's Royal Table or any of the hard to get reservations. So set your alarm. I promise you it will be worth it. Okay, I'm up at the crack of dawn. I've got my computer out. I think I'm ready. I'm almost ready. Hold on. Okay. Now I'm ready, I can start booking. Now, I wanna make sure I have not only my computer out, but my phone as well. Because as much as I love the My Disney Experience app and website, sometimes it's been known to crash or fail or just not work at all. So if you find that one isn't working, like you hop on the website and you get this error message, then you have your phone and the app ready to go. And same if it's the other way around. So make sure you have your phone and your computer ready to go a few minutes before 6 a.m. Eastern time to get those reservations and avoid any technical issues that maybe are Disney's fault. Okay, I'm officially for sure this time ready to start booking. So what do I do? Well, the first thing I do is make sure you know what days you wanna do each of your dining reservations. Did you know that if you're staying on property, not only do you have 180 days until the check-in of your trip, but you have each day of your trip open to book. So if you're staying on a five-day trip, you have 180 days plus those five days to book. So really you get like 185 days. So if you're looking to get hard to get reservations, like be our guest, I would suggest putting that reservation towards the end of your trip. Because not only are you ahead of people who slept in, you're also ahead of people who didn't stay on property. If your reservation includes little ones, like my friend here, make sure you include them when you're counting the number of guests on your reservation. She might not be eating a full plate of food, but she still needs to be counted on the reservation. And yes, if a baby puts you over six people, gratuity is automatically going to be added onto your bill. So just keep that in mind. I'd also make sure that you're booking your hard to get reservations first. Don't book things in chronological order. Just because on Monday you want to go somewhere doesn't mean you have to book Monday first. You can book Friday first. If it's a harder to get reservation, book it first regardless of when it falls on your trip. Do them in order of difficulty, not in chronological order. It'll make your life way easier in trying to get these hard to get reservations. Did you know you can also change your search so you're not just looking at breakfast, lunch, or dinner? You have a better chance of opening up more times if you pick specific times instead of just a meal. So if you're looking at breakfast, maybe look at 8 a.m. If you're looking at lunch, look at 1 p.m. Don't just leave it to breakfast, lunch, dinner. Select specific times, toggle around the times to refresh, and you'll be amazed at the options that open up. If you get stuck, you can also try changing the number of people in your party. Now this won't always work, but it's definitely worked for me in the past. I'm always booking for five people, two adults and three children. So if I can't get something, I've been known to be able to find reservations for four people, make the reservation, go back in and modify it, and suddenly I'm able to do it for five people. So it's definitely a trick worth checking out. 
You can also use free services like Mouse Dining. They can send you alerts when reservations open up. They'll text you and email you to let you know. You just have to be quick when they text you because other people are getting those texts too. So as soon as you get it, jump on your computer and make that reservation. Some restaurants even use open table. So that's another option depending on the restaurant you're going to. So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is you need to be up and prepared and ready to go. Reservations online open up at 6 a.m. So if you're further west, that's even earlier. So set your alarm clocks. Have your phone ready as a backup, but I definitely prefer using computers for when you're booking these things. You can try and call, but those reservation lines don't open until 7 a.m., which is a whole nother hour. So your best bet is to be up early and on the computer. Book reservations in order of difficulty instead of in chronological order. This will help make sure you get those harder to get reservations. Don't search by things like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Search specific times. It's really going to help narrow it down and give you more options. I don't know why the website's set up that way, but it is. If you get stuck, you can try things like switching up the part number of people in your party and then adjusting. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it's a great trick to get some of those reservations that you're really struggling to get. I would also say if you can't get reservations, utilize services like mouse dining or even my concierge service to help you try and get those reservations. It definitely helps with some of those really tricky ones that you are struggling to get. Otherwise, happy dining, and I'll see you guys in the parks.